What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to color grade in Premiere Pro. I'll show you how to make your videos look like this in a few simple steps. I even included three LUTs or video color presets free for you to download from my website. I'll include the link down below and that'll make it a lot easier for you guys to color your videos. Color is super important to add a certain style or a certain feel to your video. So let's jump into the tutorial. Let's do it. Okay guys, we are over here in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 and I am gonna show you how to color grade. So the first thing we wanna do is go to color, the color tab here, all right? And that should give us two, two windows here, one with the previous clip and then the other one on the right that will show it after it is color graded. So one of the first things you wanna do when color grading is go over here down to the left, go to new item. This is your project bin where your clips go. So new item, and we're gonna go to adjustment layer, click okay. We're gonna name this adjustment layer color grading. All right, so color grading, we're gonna drag it on top. So the track above the other clips, and then we're gonna spread it out to make sure it is on all of our clips. All right. Next step, we're gonna double click it. We're gonna input our LUT now. So let's go to input LUT, browse, and then the LUT is queued up here. We're gonna use and focus on the BYB film LUT. I have three LUTs in my free LUT package that I am giving you guys in my description, but this one is the one that we're gonna focus on today. So I input the LUT, now you can see some colors were added to it. It looks pretty good. We're going for that film look, that nice faded look. So now what you wanna do is individually fix every clip. And this is more color correcting. Color grading is so that everything looks seamless and there's an even look across all your video clips in your video. But let's go over here to this specific clip. Let's double click it. And I'm gonna go over here to curves. So I'm gonna put one here in the middle, one up top on the right, and then one down here. The one in the middle is for midtones. up here is more your highlights, and then over here down at the bottom is your blacks. So I'm gonna play around a little bit. I might brighten it up a little bit, so here's the midtones. There we go, see? I bring that up, it brightens it, I bring it down. So those are midtones. I might play with the blacks a little bit here. Kinda adjust those, highlights. Play with that a little bit. So you can play with this. This is one of the main things to do is curves. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Basic correction. I might add a little bit of saturation into this. Yeah, saturate a little bit. So I added a little bit of saturation. Looks pretty good. All right, so another thing that you can do when you are color grading, you can go to your color wheels. So our preset LUT already has some, in the shadows has some light blues added in, and then in the midtones a little bit of orange colors, but I'm gonna do a little bit more adjusting here. So one thing we'll do is we'll go to the midtones and add a little bit more orange, and then the shadows, Add a little bit of blue here. All right, I'm gonna adjust these a little bit, fine tune them. I actually don't want to put too much on here because they already have this color added in, but that looks pretty good to me. I like how that color looks. So you can play around with these, the contrast. I might add a little bit more contrast or maybe less. Actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a little bit less contrast because we're going for that film look. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So the main ones you want to pay attention to are curves. These basic corrections, you can mess around with temperature, exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows. It's basically just playing around to see what looks good. But starting with the LUT on the adjustment layer is a really good way to base everything so you can try to get an even look across all your clips. So I like how this looks. 
Um, another thing you can do if you, so since we're going for the film look, there actually is a faded film adjustment inside of this creative tab. And you can kind of play with that a little bit and make it even more faded. See, that's a that's super faded. I might add a little bit. It already has the faded look, but might add a little bit more. Another way to do this is go back to your curves and you can add a curve at the bottom. Add a curve at the bottom, sorry, add a point to your curves at the bottom. So here's a point and then you can, oh, that looks all wacky. You can, you can do this and play with it that way, but you, it's very slight. So I'm gonna actually undo that. I don't want that, but that's a way that you can do that by adding a point at the bottom and messing, oh, here's a way to do it too, like this. So yeah, that is a way to do it. I'm not gonna use that, but that is a way to get the film faded look. But we already have that within our LUT. So, so that's good right now. I like how this clip looks. And one thing that we can do is we can copy and paste these settings on the clips around it so that they match. That is the whole point of color grading. So what we can do is go double click on this clip that we adjusted, effect controls, Lumetri color, and we're going to copy again. These adjustments are additional adjustments on this specific clip after there were adjustments from the adjustment layer with the LUT above it, on the track above right here, okay? So I copied those color elements. I'm gonna to go to this clip that's before it. I'm gonna make sure there's no Lumetri color on there already. And then I'm going to click, and since I have a PC, I'm gonna be Control V, whatever your shortcut is if you're on a Mac the paste shortcut, I just pasted that on there. So now these clips fit together because they are they were filmed at the same place. They have the same lighting qualities. This is similar, this is actually the same shot. They're just slightly different clips. So we have now adjusted those and we'll do it to this one over here. This one needs it as well. So I'm going to, again, take away that Lumetri color adjustment that's already on there. I'm gonna copy and paste I'm gonna paste it and boom. So now we have these clips look seamless now, all right? So that is a way that you can color grade in Premiere Pro. It doesn't take a long time and it's a way that you can make your clips look really good together. So make sure that you adjust for each clip. So for example, this clip is a totally different scenario uh, from a different scene within the video. I shot it the same day, but it's a little bit different. It has different color qualities. So what you want to do is we have that LUT on there applied to this clip as well, but we want to go in and we can make adjustments so that it fits better with these clips. All right. So this clip is a little bit warmer. One thing we can do is go in here, go to the temperature and we can cool it down a little bit so that it matches more with the colors in this clip. We can add some saturation. There are many things to do. Like I said, I would focus mainly I would focus mainly on basic correction, all of these settings here, the curves, color wheels. You can do some things within the color wheels and then that's basically it. You can go to the creative tab and do a couple extra things there, but those are the main things to focus on and yeah, it doesn't have to take long. You just do slight adjustments on the color and make the videos look really good, make the clips look really good within the video. So that's something that you can really do and uh, I hope the LUTs help you do that. And yeah, I hope you learned a little something about color grading within Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, that's it guys. That's how you color grade in Premiere Pro. I hope you downloaded those LUTs so you can make it a lot easier for you to color your videos. And as always, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions or other videos that you would like me to create, things related to video or photography, please let me know. Drop it down in the comments below. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Use that bell notification just so you can see all my videos that I post. I really want to provide value to you guys so that you can learn and grow as videographers and photographers. So as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.